Hey everyone, it's Ashpreet from Fidata, and today I'll show you how to build an AI app in three simple steps. Fidata is a toolkit for building AI applications using pre-built templates. So if you're building an AI product, all you gotta do is clone a template, customize it to your use case, and you're ready to go. What we'll do today is we'll build an AI that can answer questions from a knowledge base. It also has multimodal capabilities so it can understand images. And finally, we'll scrape some website content to answer questions over the file data documentation. Let's get started. What we need today is our terminal and our code editor. In our terminal after installing file data, we simply run file workspace create, which gives us an option to choose from a couple of pre-built templates. We'll choose the AI app template, give it the default name, and we'll see Fidata create a production-ready code base for us. Now, this type of code base would normally take a team weeks to build, and you get this in one command. After you have your code base ready, what we'll do is we'll run the AI locally using Docker. So let's pull up our Docker dashboard on the side and run our AI using one simple command, Fi workspace up. What it'll do is it'll create a database, which also has a vector database. It'll create a streamlit application for us as a chat interface to test out our AI. And then finally, it'll give us a fast API server, which will serve our AI behind REST endpoints. So most of the time, you will have a product or a front end which you'll want to integrate. This is the API you'll call. Let's press enter and see it creating the containers we need. Now let's test the AI out. So our Streamlit application, which is a chat interface, is served on localhost 8501. We have three AI apps which we are going to be demoing with today. First is our PDF Assistant. The PDF Assistant is a great AI to kind of test retrieval augmented generation and see how the AI works over a knowledge base. What we fed it We've already loaded up a recipe book. Now you might think is if a recipe book is a great uh, way to test out an AI. I think it is because it's got images, it's got fancy font, it's got random information. It's got a lot of stuff which isn't really related to the recipes. So it's a great way to see if the AI can work through this problem. Let's pick up a recipe and see if the AI can match that. All right, let's just see if the AI can pick up a chicken casserole recipe for us. So we have our PDF assistant. Now, Fireta gives you two types of assistance. One is a typical retrieval augmented generation where you, where the assistant will search the knowledge base, take the relevant information, in this case, a recipe, and stuff it in the prompt. That's one way to go about things. And another is an autonomous assistant, which is what Fireta specializes in. Autonomous assistants can figure out what they need to do and call functions. So in this case, when we ask, um, say, how do I make chicken casserole? What it'll do is it'll first figure out, hey, I need to search the knowledge base for this recipe. It'll go search the knowledge base first. Then after searching the knowledge base, it'll synthesize that information and present it in a usable manner. We feel autonomous assistants are the future of AI and the next step to retrieval augmented generation. Okay, while this is going along, uh, let's speed things up and talk about our multimodal assistant, which can parse images. Let's give it an image. And this is very useful for sales and marketing teams or teams that you know wanna generate captions, wanna describe images, wanna post social media creatives. This is a great AI to help with those tasks. So over here, I gave it an image. You can see it's a pretty kind of complex image and it'll generate a caption which you can post. It'll describe that image. And more importantly, it can help identify brands and items in there, which can help automate a lot of workflows in machine learning at the time. See, it can figure all these things out. Uh, then I can also ask you to identify brands and a lot of other things, but let's keep that for later. Finally, what we'll do is we'll demo a website assistant. 
What we want is we want our assistant to be able to parse the FireData documentation website and tell us what FireData is, how to build an AI with it. This can be really useful if you're building an AI over internal company documentation and you just want to parse stuff off, uh, off some knowledge base. Again, we'll use our autonomous assistant here and ask what is FireData. Now you might think that what we do with autonomous assistants is that it not only searches the knowledge base, but it also synthesizes, it knows what needs to search. So over here, it's not searching for what is, which will be used in a traditional naive uh, RAG assistant. It knows what it's searching for here. Now, this is great. There's a chat interface, a streamlit application, which FireData gives you with one command. But you might be thinking, hey, this doesn't, I'm not gonna put this into my product. How do I integrate AI into my product? How do I build an AI product with it? Well. FireData also gives you a fast API server doing the exact same things. You can build your product by calling this API. So what will happen is you will customize your assistance and service using this REST API. Your front end or your product will call these API endpoints to build your AI product. You have, we have API endpoints to create runs to create a chat history, to continue that chat history for a user and all the other AI endpoints which you need for a production grade application. So in short, FireData will give you an AI app in three simple steps. And this should be pretty much what you need to get started and start building your AI today. Now, the last question which you might have is, Ashpreet, you know, this, this runs locally. I'm not gonna serve my AI locally. Yeah, and the hard part is how do I take this to production? How do I run it in the cloud? Well, we figured that out as well for you. Like you run Fire Workspace up to run your AI application locally. Similarly, you just run Fire Workspace up, prod AWS to create all the AWS resources like a service, a load balancer, a database to store your assistant runs, which also gives you a vector database, your subnet groups, your it runs in your VPC and in your cloud account with just one command. Press enter and you're ready to go. Now, finally, if you wanna learn more, how do you wanna build your own AI? Just go to docsrofidata.com and get started. Thank you so much and reach out to us on Discord or GitHub for more information. Have a nice day.